Welcome to Safety First. That's right. These days, we are very, very, very conscious of safety. Never mind just enforced wearing of seat belts in cars and things like that. That's the tip of the iceberg. Seems to me now, safety. Well, safety from these, of course. You avoid these at all costs, and anybody who, like me, Stay away from me because I'm a danger to your health. Okay, so, but the idea of safety now with, you know, kids riding around with bicycle helmets and knee pads and this, that, and the other, and there's warnings on everything, there's warnings on, I mean, to a degree that's okay, you know, but I mean, uh, where do you draw the line? You might want to say, well, you know, beware, okay, cigarettes may may cause you illness or death or whatever um, I think they should apply that to you know anything that you might tend to overuse or overdo right so I mean I think beer should have labeling on it I mean that's only fair any kind of booze actually should just have warning you know warning you know you could get really obnoxious after you know five or six of these or uh, you might, uh, you know, don't. They should at least have a don't dry, drink and drive thing on the beer bottle, don't you think? But then, of course, you get into a pub and you get served with glasses in a pint. Well, they should have little warning labels on there too. Warning: This could be your last pint ever. Whatever you're thinking about saying to that big guy over there, don't say it. <laughs> And let's see, oh yeah, well, junk food, of course, should have warnings for sure. Especially uh, uh, potato chips and cheesies and all that stuff and Twinkies, whatever they are, and cupcakes and this and that and all that kind of stuff that you don't really need. And there's very little nutritional value. They should all have warnings on there, you know. Should, you know, warning these could make you fat, could give you a heart attack. Um, you know, eat no more than uh, 10 Twinkies at any given time in a day. So, you should have warnings on that. But then everything, you know, if you get into the danger aspect of everything, like a car is a pretty dangerous object when used incorrectly. So I think there should be some nice big warning labels on the cars, you know, saying that, uh, you know, watch out steer clear of this moving vehicle could cause you bodily harm please stay back warning warning so all cars should you know have bright flashing lights on them at all times and uh, the drivers never mind just having airbags I mean people driving cars should wear helmets just like you know bicycle helmets and motorcycle helmets and this and that and the other in fact I think perhaps they should create a protective bodysuit for, for people who are driving. That would probably cut down a little bit on the uh, you know overcrowding of the freeways and stuff, especially on a hot day. Who wants to, you know, put on the body, protective body suit and go for a nice drive? Takes all the fun out of it. And that is the whole thing, partly with the safety thing, that it does, it, it sort of takes the fun out of a lot of stuff and uh, we're becoming a pretty, you know, no fun society in that respect. Um, yeah, I think, you know, like chess players, uh, let me think now, could that be dangerous? Yeah, too much thinking, too much thinking, you know. Um, warning, yeah, right on the chessboard. Warning, uh, playing this game may cause stress. Um, please try to relax while playing, you know, it could cause stress, which may, you know, we know stress is a uh, very uh, dangerous thing to our health. This is, you know, stress is the big word, one of the big buzzwords, you know. So anything that might be potentially stressful should have warnings. A lot of movies, you know. Warning, this movie could create a lot of stress. Um, beware. Well, what about comedies, you know? Can you laugh too hard? Maybe, uh, you know, warning too much laughter you may choke on a piece of popcorn or uh, you know do not eat 
while watching this movie as you may laugh inappropriately and choke and die so they should have a warning on the TV, on the TV and on, in the theaters on the DVDs at all times that warning should be there to let you know that you're doing something potentially dangerous you know, um, somebody could maybe do, you're just out for a walk okay if you're dressed inappropriately without your safety gear and you walk into a pole or a tree or something like that oh that's gonna hurt you know I mean that's dangerous so I think all utility poles and trees and anything fairly large buildings should have signs on them of course warning you off like beware watch out pay attention do not walk into this large object and, uh, and then that leads me to uh, things that you may not have so much control over like large objects that are alive and trying to kill you like grizzly bears and stuff I think we should go out and stamp some warnings on all them too you know um, warning steer clear of this bear um, airplanes should they have warnings on them well they might want to warn other airplanes to steer clear but that's that chances of that are pretty slim <laughs> I don't know. I think uh, I think the air itself should come with warnings. Although I don't know how you'd put a label on the air, but you put you could put warning labels on the buildings and stuff, along with you know, and on the cars and everywhere else, along with the label that warns you about it. It also warns you about you know uh, inhaling bad air. If it if you you know if you're standing too close to a lot of traffic or something, you know. I think that's pushing it a little bit now. Now, now I'm pushing it. So uh, I'm going to stick with you know labeling ma major objects though. And I like the idea of uh, helmets in a car, etc. And uh, on the bus, yeah, on the bus or on a train, you know, you get on, you have to bring a helmet. Uh, I think we should have helmets for pretty much. I think we should just all walk around with helmets safety helmets because you never know something could fall out of the sky for that matter two planes <laughs> if they happen to have a collision in above you and you don't get out of the way you better have your safety helmet on birds flying over in fact that's not really dangerous but uh, it's just more messy you know it's in a it's an inconvenience uh, so there you have it safety first Safety first. Safety first.